Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. Greetings, brothers and sisters. We give praise to Ahaya, Ashrei Ahaya, and our Adonai Yachem Mishiaka. We hope you all have been enjoying this time and the edification and the growth and the revelations that Ahaya has been given as he's manifesting his true gospel in these last times. Amen. We definitely want to thank you, brothers and sisters, for sharing the videos and taking the time to get the edification and all your support for the work. May Ahaya be magnified. Today we're going to look at the true Israel that we may be edified. If we can read Gad chapter 1 verse 54, please. Gad the seer chapter 1 verse 54. And the one dressed in linen came down to me and touched me, saying, Write these words and seal with the seal of truth, for Ahaya, Ashrei Ahaya is my name. And with my name thou shalt bless all the house of Israel. For they are of a true seed. So there we see the seal of truth is Ahaya's name. Ahaya, Ashre Ahaya. So this is the step to identify the true Israelites. Because they would receive the name Ahaya, Ashre Ahaya, to be blessed by it. For they are of a true seed. And also they will have Yache in them because he is the truth. According to John 14 and 6, please. John chapter 14, verse 6. Yache saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And that helps us understand who reveals the name Ahaya to us, Yache, the truth himself. Even the Comforter will come to testify of him, she being the spirit of truth. In John 15 and 26. But when the Comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, she shall testify of me. In testifying of Christ, she not only will manifest his gospel, she also will teach us the law, because the law is truth. As every word that proceeds from the mouth of Allah Hayim is for man to live by, and Christ, the truth, is the word of Allah Hayim. The true Israelites will be in keeping the law. Let's look at Psalms 119, 142. Please. Psalms 119 and 142. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and thy law is the truth. This helps us understand that not all Israel by the flesh today will be Israel's elect by the Spirit. We can look at the prophets and see that this was foreordained in Isaiah chapter 10, verse 20 to 22. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 20. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Ichiriala, and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob, shall no more again stay upon him that smote them, but shall stay upon Ahaya, the Holy One of Ichiriala, in truth. Notice he said this remnant is going to stay on the Holy One of Israel in truth. We know the law is the truth from the last precept. So they'll be staying upon Christ in the law. That's what will keep them cleaved unto him. And Ephesians 5 and 9 said, The fruits of the Spirit are in all righteousness, goodness, and truth. So for them to stay upon the Holy One, they would also bear the fruits of the Spirit. So we have the identifiers of the true Israel in spirit and truth. All right. The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob unto the mighty Allah. Look at that. The law and the fruits of the Spirit are going to cause us to return unto our Allah Hayyam. For though thy people, Israel, be as the sand of the sea, yet a remnant of them shall return. The consummation decree shall overflow with righteousness. Indeed, it will overflow in righteousness, because the everlasting righteousness of Yahweh's atonement for our former sins is going to cleanse our hearts so that we can actually cleave unto him in truth, keeping the law and bearing the fruits of the Spirit. And the house of Israel is going to abound in the fruits of righteousness. Sadly, not all Israel will attain unto this. Let's look at Romans chapter 3, verse 3 and 4 now. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of Elohim without effect? Elohim forbid. Never. There's no way it can be undone because it's Ahia's promise. Right. Yea, let Elohim be true, but every man a liar. As it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art judged. So though all Israel may not believe, yet the true Israelites are going to attain unto that everlasting righteousness. In believing in the true name of the Father, believing in Yahweh, the true, cleaving unto him 
in the law of truth and bearing the fruits of the spirit that are in all truth this will be the differentiator between Israel after the flesh and Israel after the promise even Paul understood that not all Israel was of Israel can we look at Romans chapter 9 verse 6 not as though the word of Allah hath taken none effect for they are not all Israelites, which are of Israelites. Not every person is from the bloodline of Israel is going to be a true Israelite, right. because the true Israelites are identified according to the spirit that they operate in. That's right. Let's look at Romans chapter two, verse twenty-eight to twenty-nine. For he is not a Jew which is one outwardly, neither is that circumcision which is outward in the flesh, but he is a Jew which is one inwardly. And circumcision is that of the heart, in the spirit, and not in a letter, whose praise is not of men, but of Allah. These true Israelites are they that are circumcised in heart, putting away sin by obeying the truth, which we now understand. Let's look at Colossians chapter 2, verse 11. Colossians chapter 2, verse 11. In whom also ye are circumcised with the circumcision made without hands, and putting off the body of sins of the flesh, by the circumcision of Messiah. Through Christ, the sins through affection and the lust of the flesh are crucified. Galatians chapter 5 verse 24. And they that are Messiah have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. And it's the spirit of truth that brings forth her fruits. Can we read Galatians chapter 5 verse 22, 23, and 25 please? But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. Verse 25. If we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. So true Israel will seek the inward change of becoming new creatures in spirit, living lives pleasing to Allah, walking in the Spirit as the Father is a Spirit. As John 4 and 24, Allah is a spirit, and seeketh such that worship him in spirit and in truth. So he being a spirit, gives reward to those that sow into the spirit through the truth. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 and 8. Be not deceived, Allah is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For he that soweth to his flesh, shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap life everlasting. The time is coming wherein the true worshippers shall awaken. John 4 and 23 But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. Knowing this, let us strive in good works, not being weary, that we may be among the number. Galatians 6 and 9 And let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Brothers and sisters, we sow to the Spirit by well-doing. Galatians 6 and 10 As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. So, in doing good, let us owe no one anything but to love them. Romans chapter 13 verse 8 through 10 O no man anything but to love one another for he that loveth another hath fulfilled the law for this thou shalt not commit adultery thou shalt not kill thou shalt not steal thou shalt not bear false witness thou shalt not covet and if there be any other commandment it is briefly comprehended in this same namely thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself for love worketh no ill to his neighbor, therefore love is the fulfilling of the law. This love covers all sins, brothers and sisters. Proverbs chapter 10 verse 12 Hatred stirreth up stripes, but love covereth all sins. And for our edification, love is the keeping of the law. Galatians 5 and 14 For all the law is fulfilled in one word, even in this, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. James 2 and 8 If you fulfill the royal law according to the scripture, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself, you do well. So brothers and sisters, we will be doing well with the Spirit of Christ in us, strengthening us to become 
a spiritual people, when we hear the preaching and come into the faith, circumcised or uncircumcised. Galatians 6 and 15. For in Messiah Yahweh neither circumcision availeth anything, nor uncircumcision, but a new creature. Brothers and sisters, it's the spirit of truth, the comforter, that makes us new creatures in Christ. Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7 verse 27 And being but one, she can do all things, and remaining in herself, she maketh all things new, and in all ages, entering into holy souls, she maketh them friends of Allah Hayyam and prophets. She is attained by keeping the commandments. Ecclesiasticus chapter 1 verse 26 If thou desire wisdom, Keep the commandments, and the Lord shall give her unto thee. We also need to believe in the word of truth, trusting in Christ to receive the spirit of truth. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 12 and 13. That we should be to the praise of his glory, who first trusted in Christ, in whom ye also trusted, after that ye heard the word of truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, after that ye believed, ye were sealed with that Holy Spirit of promise. Brothers and sisters, the circumcision of the heart by the Spirit brings forth fruit. Words of Solomon, chapter 11. Thank you. Also Solomon, chapter 11. My heart was pruned, and its flower appeared. Then grace sprang up in it, and it produced fruits from Ahia. For Alluvia Ono circumcised me by his Holy Spirit. <laughs> he said it very straightly. Then he uncovered my inward being toward him, and filled me with his love. And then we see how the love of Allah Hayim is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit that is given unto us, as it said in Romans chapter 5. Now 1 John 5 and 3 says, For this is the love of Allah Hayim that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous so this helps understand what the Holy Spirit does in our hearts she makes us keep his commandments and his commandments aren't grievous praise the Lord can we continue in Odes of Solomon chapter 11 verse 3 please and his circumcising being my salvation and I ran in the way of in his peace in the way of truth from the beginning until the end, I received his knowledge, and I was established upon the rock of truth, where he has set me. Now we know the rock of truth is Christ, the foundation of our faith. Now we also know that through that foundation, we will keep the commandments and it won't be grievous by the love of Allah Hayyam being shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit. And as Yahche said, out of our belly shall flow rivers of living water. Let's continue in the Odes of Solomon to see what he had to say about the waters. And speaking waters touched my lips from the spring of Adonia generously. And so I drank and became intoxicated from the living water that does not die. Now let's see what drinking this living water does through intoxication of it. And my intoxication was not with ignorance, but I abandoned vanity. And I turned toward the Luya on my Elohim, and was enriched by his favors. And I abandoned the folly cast upon the earth, and stripped it off and cast it from me. So drinking of the living waters causes us to put off the body of sin, abandoning vanity, turning towards the Most High Allah Elohim, and abandoning the folly upon the earth and stripping it from us, so that we may be new creatures in Christ Yache. Continue reading, please. And Adonia renewed me with his garment and possessed me by his light. And from above he gave me immortal rest, and I became like the lamb which blossoms and rejoices in his fruit. So the renewal of the Lord, putting his garment on us, causes us to be as a lamb which blossoms and rejoices in fruits. Continue reading. Verse 17 to 24, let's get the rest of what Solomon had to say. Then I adored Adonai because of his magnificence. And I said, Blessed, O Adonai, are they who are planted in your land and who have a place in your paradise. 
and who grow in the growth of your trees and have passed from darkness into light. The fruits of the Spirit brings us out of darkness into the light of our lion. Behold, all your laborers are fair. They who work good works and turn from wickedness to your kindness. For they turned away from themselves the bitterness of trees when they were planted in your land. And everyone was like your remnant. Blessed are the workers of your water. Indeed, they are blessed because his water causes men to abandon vanity, abandon folly, turn from darkness to light, and work good works, turning from wickedness to his kindness. And the eternal memorial of your faithful servants. Indeed, there is much room in your paradise, and there is nothing in it which is barren, but everything is filled with fruit. So it is evident, the true house of Israel, when they are filled with the Spirit of Christ and the living water of the Holy Spirit and the love of Allah in their heart, everyone will abound in the fruits of the Spirit. Praise be to you, O Allah the delight of paradise forever. Hallelujah. These things bring peace upon the true seed of the house of Israel. Can we read Galatians chapter 6, verse 16, please? And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them, and mercy, and upon the Ichriyala of Allah. The rule of being renewed in the spirit of our mind and walking in the good works of the spirit, believing on the truth of Christ, striving to become new creatures, is the rule that differentiates the Israel of Allah from Israel according to the flesh. This true house of Israel will manifest in these last days. John 4 and 23 But the hour cometh, and now is, when the true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. The remnant that shall overflow in righteousness will be the spiritual house. 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 5 Ye also, as lively stones, are built up a spiritual house and holy priesthood, to offer up spiritual sacrifices acceptable to Allah by Yahweh Christ. So let the Hebrews come into the faith, whether circumcised or uncircumcised, by the hearing of faith in Christ Yahweh. First Corinthians chapter seven verse seventeen. But as Allah hath distributed to every man, as Adonai hath called every one, so let him walk. And so ordain I in all churches. If any man called being circumcised, let him not become uncircumcised. Don't become uncircumcised in your heart. Or meaning don't go away from the fruits of the Spirit. Don't go away from keeping the commandments. Can you read Romans chapter 2 verse 25 to see what it means to become uncircumcised when you're already circumcised in the flesh? For circumcision rarely profiteth if thou keepest the law. But if thou be a breaker of the law, thy circumcision is made uncircumcised. Don't become a sinner against the law to lose your true circumcision of the heart in the spirit. Touching back to the rest of 1 Corinthians 7 and 18 please. If any called in uncircumcision, let him not be circumcised. If you're an adult, having first learned about the faith of Christ, and you're of the children of Israel, there's no need for you to go get circumcised, because that's not how you receive the Spirit. Galatians chapter 5, verse 2 to 4. Behold, I, Paul, say unto you, that if you be circumcised, Christ shall profit you nothing. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a debtor to do the whole law. Christ is become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, ye are fallen from grace. Galatians chapter 3, verse 2 and 3. This only would I learn of you. Receive ye the Spirit by the works of the law, or by the hearing of faith? Are you so foolish, having begun in the Spirit, are you now made perfect by the flesh? The simplicity of what Paul was teaching is why would you go get circumcised when it was the hearing of faith that caused you to receive the Spirit? It wouldn't be wise to go back to the flesh of trying to get circumcised to be saved when it's faith and the Holy Spirit's seal that actually saves us through obeying the truth. Galatians chapter 5 verse 5 
For we through the Spirit wait for the hope of righteousness by faith, knowing that it is by faith we are hoping to attain unto the salvation of Allah Hayyam. Come as we are, whether circumcised or uncircumcised, into the truth of Allah Hayyam. 1 Corinthians chapter 7 verse 19 Circumcision is nothing, and uncircumcision is nothing. But the commandments of Allah Hayyam. So the commandments of Allah Hayyam is something, because that will get us the Holy Spirit. Let every man abide in the same calling wherein he was called. Therefore, you see, if you're called and you're uncircumcised, walk in the faith. All right. Continue. If you're called being circumcised, walk in the faith. All right. Don't trust in the flesh. Let's close out with Galatians 6 and 16, please. And as many as walk according to this rule, peace be on them. And mercy and upon the Israel of Allah. Now you understand who true Israel is, the Israel of Allah. So you can see the Israel of Allah are those of the seed of Israel right. that abide in the faith of Ahaya Allah by the effectual working of Mishiach Ayache in them to keep the commandments and to bear the fruits of the Spirit. All right. And with that, I'm good. Ahaya, be magnified. We hope this has been edifying for you, brothers and sisters, and we look forward to hearing from you all. And uh, any questions or comments, feel free to contact us. Ahaya, be with you. I am praise Ahaya.